Hello everybody, this is Ninja Gamer once again and we are coming at you with a Protoss vs Zerg and we do have a treat for you in this game we are gonna make some more advanced units which we don't see that often or maybe when we do make them we don't have a good outcome with them but without revealing too much we'll see how this one goes we are going up against a moral zombie and rivet troll a moral zombie an amoral zombie i think zombies are pretty amoral i mean there's no there's no morals involved in terms of their decision making so i wouldn't say they're immoral yeah i agree with that and rivotril that just sounds like vitriol but it's uh an anagram is that what it is when you mix up the letters and the words so that's cool but it almost sounds like a medicine um, anyway we are going up against Zerg uh, and that is all thanks to well I didn't really scout they came to us so and my brother Tosh is building uh, building with Protoss and we don't really know what he has yet the Zerg checking us out wrote Rivotril noticing our early expansion and on this map as you can see the early expansion is protected because it is in your base so a pretty safe bet to go with and uh, and there are rocks here um, so yeah over on the Zerg side, they are also going for an early expansion, and um, we have taken note of... No, we have not taken note of this. They're being sneaky. They expanded to their second natural, and let's see if we actually find out if they're expanding. Nope, we don't... Oh, wait, we, we do spot it. it. We do spot it. <clears throat> so that's pretty good. We are getting better at scouting spawning up no gas well, that's not necessarily true but whatever providing false data that is what I do best <laughs> and zerglings coming in they are expanding to their natural so in the words of crank you could say this person is being greedy because they are securing their second natural and then they could pretty easily secure their first natural um, and I'm just being paranoid about them being sneaky in the meantime we are just uh, I think we're just going straight for air guys we're not we don't have an, a really much of an army at all building a forge protecting our two base over on the APM side, again, us being old motherfuckers, we are at a 58 APM, and they are at a 95, so again, we are slower than our opponents, as usual. On the resources side, things are looking pretty equal, but they are way ahead in terms of supply, being Zerg, I suppose you could say. And he is doing a good job of spreading creep, although he hasn't connected his main to his expansion, which he might consider doing, and he is taking that third expo. And this guy does, our opponent, have very good map awareness. All around the perimeter, an overload here, zergling here, here, and here, and he has got us locked down. Yeah, that is, that is really good map awareness, guys. And he is scouting yet again. And he's just like pretty much got us on lockdown. Although I wouldn't have gone that way. I mean I would have gotten into this to see what I was what we were doing, but <clears throat> he was probably maybe on auto auto scout mode. This probe trying to trying to do the jukes, but his he's a higher rank, he's more higher no, they're both predator ranking. 
I wonder how the ranking system works. Predator. Predator is a pretty good ranking to start off with. I mean, Disciple versus a Predator. <laughs> That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool lingo. Disciple. That just kind of goes to show you what type of mentality the Protoss have. They are disciples, very honor focused. Anyway, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna stop with this. I don't know what I'm rambling on about, but yeah, they are doing the queen, the queen ramp ramp blocking, which we have also taken taken uh, the strategy from from our opponents, spreading the creep. They oh, and they're doing the evolution chamber uh, block. So what are they hiding, guys? What are they hiding? They're going Lair, they're probably going Mutas. Uh, Link's coming in here, they're taking out our proxy pylon. And the Ling is just, we're trying to keep them at bay and scouting, but the Lings are doing a good job of map, map control. Oh yeah, but we're just going straight for the carriers, guys. No messing around today. So, resources, income, Spending. Everything's more or less on par. We are way higher tech than them, but they have three bases, and we just made three bases, and we're gonna go scout more. Oh gosh. That's probably me controlling this oracle. That is me, Ninja Gamer. Let's see what I can do. Alright, guy. No, don't go there. Don't go there. Oh, you, you, that was just awful. <laughs> and I'm just, I'm just complaining. I'm very, uh, I think, yeah, I'm not in the best of moods apparently in this, in this game because there's lots of bickering on my side. And I'm saying that's a Hydra Den because I can't click on it anymore. And they're coming in with the lings from the south side, taking out the debris. Uh, so pretty evenly matched so far. Although we we do we are going higher tech, so we're just like you know what, we're just gonna go for it. <clears throat> I love the creep spread though. He's done an excellent job of spreading the creep around the map, and he's gotten three bases with a ton of drones, 59 drones. Well, I think he needs more drones. Unless we're maxed out on, unless we have too many probes. No, it's about even. So we're just both minding our own businesses and trying to build huge armies, but luckily for us, we've chosen to tech up and make carriers while this person is pretty low on the tech train, tech chain making a hydra den hydralisk mask hydralisks which one one upgrades they are pretty good but yeah we've done quite well to secure a secure a third let's see what is going on what am i trying to do i think i'm just scouting with the depths because i figure the psionic transfer is a pretty good way for us to move quickly around the map so that is my strategy here, scouting with the cyanic transfer, although, I mean, that wasn't very good. Oh, and the zerglings coming in. Oh, and he sees the carriers, guys. He just saw the carrier. Okay, guys, hydralists are coming in at this point. I don't know what I'm doing up there. I'm trying to harass. All right, carriers, guys, carriers. I can't even hit this. It's like grayed out. Oh my goodness! It looks like we're gonna lose this. We don't have any interceptors. That's the problem, guys. We really don't have any interceptors. But we barely hold this off with 30 HP left. <laughs> 30 HP and this Nexus has probably had to have I mean how many kills did this Nexus have a ton I'm sure uh, absolute ton and he's probably 
<laughs> we're like, carrier's supposed to be OP, right? I hope. This is me right here. I'm like, I don't, I don't want them to do a suicide attack on our Nexus. I'm gonna make a little pylon barrier. Because we do desperately need this third Nexus here. So yeah, we're just trying to build what's OP. And, um, I think carriers are quite strong. Increases the range of the Phoenix. Fleet Beacon. Uh, yeah, they're getting their fourth. Um, and he's asking if I can move out. We're pretty much on the same page here. Six carriers against... 19 hydralisks and 3 queens and 45 zerglings I'm gonna go harass they see us coming they see us coming guys and he's like alright I'm gonna go in and take out their main let's see how we do here guys alright a couple force fields thrown down zerglings coming in I'm like trying to decide if I should go back or stay and they know the carriers are coming because well no they don't know oh gosh it's going down guys my pylon did absolutely nothing I needed to make another pylon here so what am I doing I needed an observer so I could just take down all these little creep tumors uh, but pretty much all we have at this point are our carriers and I'm just meandering around the map, but I was looking for this gold. See if he had a gold. Didn't have a gold. Our opponents, guys, have 4.5k in resources, so... Uh, yeah, you could say they are underutilizing their resources. Oh god, oh my goodness. They're just taking out our expo here. Oh, vipers. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Guys. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. Hey look, my carrier is a mentor. And if you guys do watch Crank, he does say that a lot. He's like, hey guys. Like he's talking to the audience, so that's pretty cool. I think that's where I'm getting it from. Anyway, one carrier goes down. I'm really not good at controlling carriers. I don't know what it is. I just, I need to leverage the coast more so they don't, they can't hurt me. Um, so yeah, I, I need to work on that. But <clears throat> carriers are pretty strong here and you could actually release your interceptors uh, and they last for 43 seconds. Uh, I thought I was doing this, but I apparently wasn't because I didn't know that you needed to release, like press R. Um, but we're doing quite well. We're doing quite well. We are doing quite well. Alright, I'm down to four carriers, but I, we have taken down his main expansion and he's coming into our main base here we're on two base no we're on three base he's on he's on two three base I guess if you count his main um, but we must have killed a ton of guys we must have killed yeah we have killed 95 units and They've killed 157. No, no, we, we've killed 160 units. Okay. Alright, what am I doing here? I'm being an idiot. Again, I don't know why I just walk around in the middle of the map. So these carriers need a jiggy at all. Jiggy on out of here. But we have killed 161 units. That's quite good. Uh, and they're making some vipers, man. They're making some vipers. They're gonna use that. They're gonna use that thing on us. They're gonna use blinding cloud. No, no, no. They're gonna use parasitic bomb 
target the enemy target enemy and enemy target and enemy air units nearby if the target dies the cloud remains in the air blinding cloud creates a cloud for 10 seconds that reduces attack range uh yeah so this guy has the right idea he's making vipers he's got a ton of money he's got map control so yeah and you can actually use the consume if you guys don't know the consume lets you target a building and it gives you mana in return for hurting a building so let's see how this goes now we're going on their other kill the viper okay good now we're going down on the east side come on kill the viper oh my gosh he's done it on us again he's done it on us again guys and i still haven't realized how to do the release all right even more carriers here oh man thank god for this debris it saved us oh more corruptors or corruptors oh dear we're at 1-1 one, one. I don't know how we're gonna I mean four carriers should kill four corruptors right these vipers are just messing with us oh my goodness we barely have two carriers left and finally I knew Tosh told me how to release the interceptor so that's cool so see inter interceptors they just chill here killing stuff I mean that's pretty OP right it's pretty strong so this guy is down to no minerals because we've killed all his expansions in the meantime we've successfully been able to expand and defend so <clears throat> we are doing quite well for ourselves and all the interceptors just explode I guess at the end of that time period we are in a good position but Zerg still has several thousand minerals and at this point I mean I would just go mass 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 corruptor uh, and <laughs> I'm just not confident in my carrier control so we often do one of these transitions of uh, the person who is doing the econ does the army control and vice versa uh, an audible if you will but I should feel pretty good about I mean having literally 13 carriers to my name I should be able to feel like I can take them out but then again I don't know what I don't know I don't know that they really don't have much anymore let's see how this goes oh 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 watch this force field love that that was all me guys force field <laughs> that's what I had to contribute in this match I like carriers because they have such long range I mean you could just be a total douche and just and just uh, hurt people from long range this guy's going straight for the source straight for this source we should be fine though. we should be fine here we have air units air units to defend and yeah I'm just throwing down force fields aimlessly this is not looking good for the zerg this is not looking good for the zerg I think we've done quite well to neutralize them now they're just getting desperate and I love just leaving a couple carriers at our expansions to help defend that usually works quite well this carrier is now an instructor oh my gosh this one's an executor that is awesome that is awesome oh wow you're gonna need more corruptors than that I think 13 corruptors or 15 characters carrier carriers 
Let's see how this goes. One carrier down. Two carrier down. Alright. So. Lesson learned. 15 corruptors. No, that wasn't even 15. 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 carriers first. 15 corruptors. And carrier still prevailed with the 1 1 upgrade. Not bad at all. And this Zerg army here, trying to take down the production facilities, is not doing too well. They probably need to send all their Hydras here. That would have. That would have been pretty effective, but I don't know where their Hydras went. I don't think they have Hydras anymore. I think we killed them all off. It's looking like GG, guys. Looking like it's going to be GG. And this is going to be a... a yeah, that was a massacre. A massacre of drones. Yeah, we got two carriers at each expansion to help protect the main base going in, killing everybody. I must say that those vi that Viper um, spell is quite strong. Um, but yeah, we're just doing classic StarCraft plays here. And this game is about to end in the next 15 seconds. So... This is pretty much it guys. I hope you guys enjoyed watching uh, carriers. They are quite strong and I would recommend getting them and leveraging the release interceptors. Um, uh, yeah, and basically, basically using that to your advantage. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please consider liking, subscribing, commenting, or sharing. And as always, have a wonderful weekend. Talk to you later. Bye.